my background, like obviously I was in the adult film industry for six years, but you know, that that's whatever. We'll get to that. But I was in the health and fitness industry for nearly a decade as well. And how many programs did I start with 50 people and I finish with five, you know, just like I pledged a fraternity in, you know, in college and we started with, I don't know, like 75 guys and, and 11 got through. And I think um, just in, something in Western culture, it's like we are quick to say, hey, put me in. But then when I have to do the work, I'm, I'm quick to back out. So it's like I'm, I'm quick to participate, but to get to where you need to go or you want to go, you got to put in the work. And just like what you're saying for 11 weeks, um, I just want to congratulate you guys for showing up because, you know, consistency is the most important aspect of being successful in any capacity. So if I'm going to say, hey, um, I want to change my aesthetics, I want to change my appearance, I want to change my health and fitness. You know, the first thing that I'll tell people, like my lane is strength conditioning and CrossFit and you know, some people will say, well, why, why don't you advocate for that more? It's like, if you don't enjoy what you're doing and you don't show up consistently, it doesn't matter what you're doing. So it's like, you can have the greatest coach in the world, the greatest plan in the world, thousands of dollars of supplements a month. But if you don't show up and put in the work each and every day, you're not going to get to where you want to go. And that's the, that's the truth with porn, like not watching porn, not you know, not allowing anything in your life, just, you know, setting up boundaries and putting in the work. You know, it's easy to be nice to people when you're in a good mood. It's hard to be nice to people when you're pissed off and you've not had a lot of sleep and things aren't going right. It's, it's hard to be kind to people. It's hard not to snap. And porn is just one of those things where, if it is something I'm using to mask my feelings, if it's something I'm going like, this is my hiding place, it's going to be so easy to fall back into what you've been doing because life happens, you know, just from a, from a biblical standpoint, you know, Jesus very clearly articulates that trials will happen. So John 16, 33 says, you know, he says, uh, I've told you these things so that you can have peace in this world, you will face tribulations, but take heart for I've overcome the world. So he promises from Jesus's lips, he promises that life is going to be hard. And it's the difference is responsive behavior in contrast to reactionary behavior. Either you're going to have a foundational why behind what you do, and that why is going to lead you into your circumstance. If, if I'm doing this because if I'm stopping watching porn because I don't want to get caught watching it and someone said something to me and, and I'm here because, you know, I'm trying to check a box. You'll never get to where you want to go until you're honest with yourself and you put everything on the table. Then you'll never get to real like really walking in freedom. So I, I just want to just say congratulations for coming this far and remember this because, again, like from a biblical standpoint, um, John 19, 30 says it is finished. So hell, death, sin, and the grave is defeated in Christ. So if you are a Christian, then sin is defeated. So it has no, it has no territory over you. It can't control you. So when you do screw up and when you do stumble, when you do, you know, we're, we're all human. Romans 3, 23 says we're, you know, we've all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So that, that nature doesn't change. We're equipped to to operate differently because we have the Holy Spirit, but we are still broken individuals. So you will fail. You will fail. The, 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 the hope is not to fall into porn anymore, but the probability of you seeing something you don't want to see, you seeing someone at the gym wearing something that's going to trigger you, hopefully you, you build up this equity of, I'm going to choose to do the right thing when it's hard. And until you get to a place where you have an underlining why, it's going to be so difficult to make that decision. Because if you're not doing it for yourself and something bigger than yourself, you'll never get to where you want to go.